Brandon is turning one. Stay tuned for a dinosaur birthday party decoration haul. So my son Landon is turning one and we decided to go with the Landon Before Time dinosaur theme and I saw this adorable pinata at Target and it kicked off the entire theme. So I'm going to go with mainly lime green and orange and a lot of really prehistoric Ferns, leaves, green, make it look very dinosaur, Jurassic Park-like look because it's going to be in a tent in our backyard. First, these little party hats, I thought they were so cute. They're from the Spritz line at Target. And then I found these, they were only a dollar at the craft store, so I think I'm going to hot glue for his little birthday party hat. These little dinosaurs. So I got a couple more that I think I'm going to use for like some banners or signs or, you know, on the tables. There will be a lot of crafting for this birthday party. And I also found these really cute, and they weren't even a dollar, I think they were less than that. One letters that I'm going to use for his high chair little like ribbon sign. I know he's a boy, but I still am like adding sparkles because it's the first birthday party. These are like some green, orange, and gold sparkly ribbon. And again, I'll use that with those letters for like the high chair banner sign. <laughs> I'm going to make a mess. Again, I'm crafting some things, so I got some green glitter spray paint, some gold glitter spray paint, and then some gold spray paint. So there will be like a lot of gold and green glittery accents going on. Roar, um, the letters. I got these cute silver letters that say one. They're like these big thick foam letters, so I'll probably set them out on a table or something like that. I got these big one cardboard letters. I'll spray paint these too. Then I got lime green and orange balloons, so we'll have to blow those up. Um, I think my husband's gonna get a helium tank. Then orange and lime green streamers for the tent to make sure that it looks like it's decorated and decked out. I had to get two big packs of orange utensils, so I have all of the utensils and napkins and plates are in orange. Orange napkins, orange plates, so I got the small plates for the cake the big plates for the dinner and food. And then these cups I got for if anybody's having like a mixed drink or I'm gonna have punch. So I have the green cups and then I have for the winosaurs some green wine cups. We're renting a ton of tables and chairs. So I have a ton, I think these are like 10 green, lime green tablecloths. And I got one green table skirt for like the actual food table or cake table or something. But that's why I did lime green tablecloths across the board because I thought that between the utensils, napkins, and plates, it like makes the colors pop really nicely. Again, I'm trying to go with like a prehistoric Jurassic Park real dinosaur look. So I thought that these bamboo toothpicks were perfect because I'm gonna do some meatballs with a little sign that says carnivores. So I thought these bamboo toothpicks were so cute. Then I lucked out because Easter just happened, so all of these eggs were on sale at the craft store. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with these yet, but I'm gonna figure out something. I think I'm gonna have like little dinosaurs popping out of them, but they were only 25 cents each, so I was like, why not? I'll figure out something to do with them. And similarly, all of these eggs were also on sale at the craft store for only like 25 cents. So. I think I'll put like little dinosaurs in them and like set them out around the table. I thought they were so cute. And signage is always something super important to me. I like to have all my food labeled and drinks labeled. So first I got some chalkboard signs from Target and then these are little like place card chalkboard labels. Then I found these at the craft store. They're another like chalkboard label but you insert them in these little green moss stands and I thought that was so cute and perfect for the dinosaur theme. And then just some other chalkboard signs I got as well to label. Then I found these little chalkboard, it's like a little banners you can make and then also these are like the um, cardboard looking banners. So I figured between the chalkboard and the cardboard I'll make some cute signs. Then got from Target also their spritz line, some green and some gold little dangly garlands to hang around because I feel like these look really cute for the birthday theme. Then got a gold happy birthday banner from Spritz from Target as well. I just loved how it was gold and glittery and I feel like we can reuse this too for other birthdays. Then these are from the Target dollar spot and I decided to get them because for making some of the banners they're really cool white gold 
and cardboard letters in some various sizes. So I thought like these would go really well and make everything look really coordinated. Not sure if I'm gonna keep these, but I got these burlap table runners just because I thought for the food tables or even outside on some of the tables, it might offset the green really nicely. Um, but I'm not sure I'm gonna use these yet. I've seen on Pinterest some really cute like first birthday, all my first pictures, or I've taken monthly pictures of Landon. So I got these really cute clothes pins. So I think I'm gonna do something where I like pin up pictures of him. And I also got some black, really thick foam cardboard poster board that I think I'll make some. And they fit really nicely in these little stands. Let's talk some dinosaurs. So I got some dinosaur stickers that I can use for some signs. I found these really cute dinosaur figurines at the craft store. So there's, I wanted to get the Land Before Time ones. So this is Littlefoot. This is, I was it Spike, I believe was like the Stegosaurus. Um, T-Rex, obviously. Then Petrie was the little flying one, I think. Um, Sarah, Triceratops. And then my thought was, I have some like colorful craft paper upstairs in my attic, but I got these little balls and I saw on Pinterest that you can make little party hats for like the little dinosaurs. So I'm gonna make them some little party hats with these balls. And I've got like the little stretchy string to make it so it like fits underneath their faces. Lots of crafting to do. <laughs> some of the birthday candles I got. So I got a big number one for him and then also some happy birthday candles. I don't know if I'll use all of this, but I always just buy it to be on the safe side. More craft to spray paint. I found these really cute cardboard dinosaurs at Target. So there's a little foot and like another T-Rex looking one. So I'll probably be spray painting these and making some party hats for them too. I actually have like a ton of these to spray paint. <laughs> okay, then I found these little squishy dinosaurs that I'll also be setting out for decor. These are a bunch of the little mini dinosaur figures I got, so I'll probably be putting some of them in those little Easter eggs that I got on sale. Also just scattering these around the tables outside, because again, we're going to have about eight long tables for guests to sit at out under the tent. But I am debating spray painting some of these gold. I've actually seen for like wedding decor, when you spray paint these gold, they look really, really cool. So I might get uber crafty and make these gold, or at least a couple packs of them. So my thought was he can play with these, you know, when he gets older, have a little dinosaur collection. These were all a dollar. They're like little lays. But my thought was I'm actually going to cut them apart and more string them so that they're like a big long leaf string that can go all around the tent. Because um, I kind of measured out what the tent perimeter will be and I can hang these all around the perimeter of the tent. Okay, here's where we're gonna get real fern gully gully. This is my, I'm like a prehistoric mama over here. Um, but for the table centerpieces, I have a bunch of mason jars that I think I'm gonna spray paint either gold or like glittery gold and then put these little, these were in the clearance section at the craft store and I thought they were perfect. They're like fern looking. Now, poked myself in the eye. <laughs> Now, if my grandma in her backyard, she has a ton of ferns, I just don't know if they're going to be up by April 30th, which is the day of his party. So I might even take these back if I don't need to use them and I can use actual ferns, which would be my hope. But if not, I have these as backup. And these garlands that I was wearing around my neck. So I think I'll use these either on like some of the table spreads, just like around the food so it looks really prehistoric and sort of um, naturistic and cool. And again, this is just like a shorter version of some of those longer leaf garlands I got. And I was thinking maybe like putting his cake around this. I'm gonna have to play around with the tablescaping. And these are just more of the ferns from the dollar section for the centerpieces. These plastic cups are gonna be for the dino dirt. I'm gonna do chocolate pudding and those little mini dinosaurs, some of them, put them in like the dino dirt. And then these little mini plastic cups I'm going to use for the herbivore table and have celery sticks and carrot sticks with ranch dressing in them. Saw that on Pinterest. And these are just some green paper lanterns and some green pennant banners that I got from Party City that I thought for hanging up around the tent just again to make it colorful so it doesn't look plain. Going with the lime green and orange theme, have some party solo cups for the kiddos 
And I thought this was genius. They have these lids for them, and then you can use the little cute paper straws in them. So I got the lids so that one, kids don't spill their drinks because we will have some kiddos here, and then the cute little straws that fit in it as well. I saw these on nuts.com and I thought they were adorable. So first, these are actual candy edible rocks. So they look, again, like really prehistoric. I might see if I can work these into the dino dirt, but if not, I think they'll just look really cute on the candy table. And then one of the food items I'm making, because one my husband loves it, and it's just a crowd pleaser, and it's easy, because you can make it in the crock pot and let it be. But I got dino-shaped noodles for the macaroni and cheese. So it will be truly dino-themed macaroni and cheese. I feel like I truly lucked out that Easter just happened because I got this for dirt cheap. It was 75% off this pack of all these peanut butter M&M eggs, huge, from CVS. So these might also be incorporated into the dino dirt or I might just open them up and put them in some clear glass containers for the candy bar table. Because we decided for our favors, my husband loves candy. We had a candy bar as a favor for our wedding. And a lot of our parties, we do a candy bar when it's like his birthday for the 4th of July or my Christmas birthday party. So I got some lime green and orange candy bags from Party City that I think I'll put some of those dinosaur stickers on. Then lime green and orange candy scoop has to coordinate, OCD. I love the way rock candy just looks decorative on any candy table, so I got lime green and orange rock candy, some lime green and orange cichlids and chocolate drops. And then I ordered a jumbo size bag. These are, you can't really tell in the bag, but they're dinosaur shaped gummies. So I thought those would be really cute and obviously align with the theme perfectly. Then I got some white mini eggs, again, totally banked on the sales on the Easter candy. So these are some white Cadbury eggs, it's like little dino eggs. And then these are some Twizzler. It says Easter grass candy, but I thought that this, this is really cool to make it look again like dino grass themed. So something that's just a pop of the green color on the candy table. This is also on sale from the Easter section at CVS, but it's a little good dinosaur chocolate egg. So again, I thought it was really cute for the theme. These little flags, I think I might be putting them in the cupcakes and writing like Landon is one on them, but again, lime green and orange little party kick flags. This was pretty expensive, so I might take it back, but sort of I thought it could be a really cool table runner because it's that green mossy grass and looks really prehistoric. So I need to figure out if I'm going to use this yet. It was rather expensive, but I was like, this could be really cool in my head. We'll see if it plays out, if I take it back or not. Then I got these really cool light up marquee letters that spell out one. I thought if they're lit up, it could look really cool because they're battery powered. You can kind of set them anywhere. So I thought these would be really awesome. Now one of the most important things, what is the birthday boy's outfit going to be? Because it has to coordinate, obviously, that OCD. I got this adorable outfit from Etsy. So it's this little dinosaur spiked hoodie. Um, so he can have the dinosaur spikes and there's a matching tail that wraps around his waist. So it literally, he'll look like a little dinosaur. And I made sure the spikes are orange and lime green so that they coordinate with everything. Then for underneath, one, I just know, you know, between the smash cake and kids can just be messy, I made sure I have a couple of outfits. So they all kind of go with that little hoodie and tail. But I found these really cute, there's like a little dinosaur print onesie. I love that one. And then there's a dinosaur t-shirt that goes with it. And then these are, I think, the shorts I'll have him wear because they're the bright orange, but they have little dinosaurs on them. There's another shirt that has little dinosaur on it. Um, and then for his birthday PJs, I thought these were so cute. Sleepasaurus Rex. So at the end of the party, if people, you know, stick around and it's bedtime, he might get changed into his jammies at the party. And one last thing, because I don't want my Coley to be left out. We got Coley a little dog dino outfit too, so she can fit into the theme of the party when she's running around in the backyard. She can be our little mini dino dog. So there you have it. I hope you had a snack or some popcorn for this video because I know it was a huge haul, but I'm so excited for my baby to turn one. I cannot believe it's been a year. and I cannot wait to throw this party and have all these people over my house and have some really awesome dino decorations. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
please subscribe. I post new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching.